But with no further ado, let's let's bring him on. Let's bring on Coach John Montgomery. Coach, What's going Coach? On, Coach? Good morning. Coach? Good morning. How you doing, Coach? Look at that. You look good. Look at Coach. Well, thank you. You look good too, fam. Good to see you, good, Earl. Good to K. see you, hon. <laughs> What's going on, Coach? Coach? How you doing? How you how oh, you making man. it? Oh man, I'm blessed and highly favored, man. Today's my time. birthday. Happy birthday so to you, Coach. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Coach. It's right, it's right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you, my friend. Absolutely. Outstanding. Uh, I thank God, man. Millions didn't make it. I was one That's of the right. ones that did. That's yeah, right. There you go. That is so true. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Earl. So, man, listen, my brother, right quick. Um, uh, won't you do this? Do me this one solid. When you hit the grocery store, I go by that deli and get some of that smoked gouda and some of that smoked turkey or chicken to fix my grits. Because I told you that DJ Ugalande was average as grits. So <laughs> he <you> did. <laughs> So when you fix my grits, I like a little smoked Gouda cheese with my grits. <laughs> okay, Coach, you, I bet I'll do you, that. You know what, Coach? I, I yeah. ain't even mad at smoked Gouda in the grits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at that. That's oh, no, it's, um, it's, it's, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, oh, man, man, let's get it. So, so I'm Coach, excited, hey, hey, Coach mm-hmm. we, we want to get you on, but I know we're talking in the field, but r- real quickly, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we was with some Clemson people yesterday talking about that, but uh, what's what's the deal, man? I mean, what's what's happening? Is 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 the pressure on him uh, down in him and uh, no Woody, no guy we know real well, Coach McCoy, but down down there in Clemson. I think uh, Earl K. Mack and Pam that uh, certainly is pressure on uh, this guy is into Clemson to uh, up until twenty thirty one. He's making he's making eleven million now. And by 2020, by 2031, if he can stay on, he'll be up to 12.75 million. Uh, it increases. His buyout is 60 million. So, yeah. But, you know, the old folks say hard head make a soft ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, That's right. Uh, Quick. <laughs> uh, you know, and this guy is arrogant. I mean, let's call it for what it is. He's arrogant. If the elite of college football, uh, if the elite of college football, you're talking about the Georgias, you're talking the Ohio States, the Texas, Oregon's, Oklahoma's, if they are deploying the transfer portal successfully, what in the hell make you think you so good that you ain't got the <laughs> That's so true. That's arrogant. Dabo Swinney is arrogant now. Call it what it is. Do you remember back a couple of years ago, and I'm sure you are well aware of it, when uh, uh, the the emergence of the Black Lives Matter movement? Yeah, you remember yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was so arrogant that he had a little T-shirt popping his collar with the shirt on Football Matters. You remember that? Yeah, oh. yeah, I mean, but I, I, yeah, but you know. You know, uh-oh. 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 Well, see, see, you, okay, but call it for what it is. Yeah, okay. Okay, All right. okay and, 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 and listen. And, and and there's some there's some inconsistencies. Think about this. We I was kidding you about DJ Ugalande. Well, you so hell bent on developing your own. You wasn't too uh, upset when when he was shown the door. Why didn't you keep him there and develop him? Okay, yeah, okay. he he on his he on his third school. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. but well, yeah. we see how. I mean, that was a good move for Clemson to get rid of him because he hasn't developed at all. Uh, even not, yeah, he he's you think? yeah you he, think. Yeah. He's like, what did you say last week? Like the ham and the safe? What did you say about the ham and the safe? I told you, I told you <laughs> that, that Georgia would whip Clemson like they stole a ham from Safeway. They had no girl. They had nobody. Oh, my God. Cle- Clemson had nobody at the skill positions that struck fear into the Georgia defense. Earl, there's a fact. Yeah. Clemson has not had an offensive skill player to go in the first round in the draft since Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne. Mm. That was twenty twenty. Earl, that was twenty twenty one. Okay. That's twenty twenty one. So that's three years, coach. So here's a question. Uh, yeah. So it's three years. Drive. So that's three years, mm-hmm. coach. If he's had three Absolutely. years to develop talent, what's the problem? What's what's going on? Why why, why are we it's not developing? Not, mm-hmm. not not recruiting talent, not getting it out of the portal, but you still should be able to develop that talent that you had for the last three years. No, Earl, uh, I'm sorry, K-Mac, listen, free agency slash transfer portal is the rule, it's the law of the land, okay? And everybody is deploying it, and you can't keep up with the elite people. And Mm -hmm. Clemson is an iconic football program. 
Okay, so the standard of excellence is high, but you can't keep up if everybody else is doing it and you trying to farm, farm, raise your own straight up out of high school, right. red shirt, developer. You can't keep up with the elite people. Partner, Ohio State lose a first round draft pick at wide receiver in Mar Marvin Harrison Jr. What do they do? Their NIL budget for the 2024 season at Ohio State is 22 million. 22 million. Wow. That's, 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 that's what they're paying in NIL money at Ohio State. Is it any wonder? Now, you got to have a discerning eye, mm -hmm. which what you what you got to hold Mike Norvell accountable for at uh, Florida State is he went out and bought the wrong one. Yeah, because okay. that's true. That's the that's one. Because he, he's about 30, man, right? What's about 30? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's about 30. <laughs> What's that, coach? <laughs> he will get your ass beat by 30. <laughs> yeah. Coach, oh he comes God. by 30. DJ Angle is by 30 all day long. So, oh yeah, and, and, and that's the issue right there. And and uh, uh, Nick Saban, did you see him on uh, College yeah. Game Day? Uh, yeah. He's. He made a very poignant point, and he was spot on correct when he said, "You got to buy the one, wrong one, you s word out of luck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's he true. Did. And he said that too. Nick said it and flat he, out. He said it just <laughs> like that. <laughs> and, 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 and 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 at the end of the day. Yeah. That's what you got to hold Mike Norvell accountable for at Florida State. He done went out and bought the wrong one. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got you've got to have a discerning eye, but free agency. NIL ain't nothing but free agency. Well, and Dabo, he, what, yeah. go ahead. No, no, but Coach, particularly free agency, that, that's that's what we call the transfer portal, but it is free agency in the NFL. And again, we're talking to Coach John Montgomery, whose birthday is today, yeah. uh, home, home spawn sports. And he's like, hey, Coach, let's jump right into the NFL. This is what you really want All to right. get you on. Uh, and I want to make sure we, we get enough time to get it in. So uh, off the top, Give us your picks and, 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 and uh, you know, give, give us your predictions in terms of the NFL this season. NFC and okay. AFC, what you got? All right. In the AFC, Earl, it stops and starts with Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and they are positioning themselves for a three-peat. And this is something that's unprecedented, never been done in the National Football League. But they are good enough to do it, okay? They have a roster that's good enough to do it. And – Okay, they ha big question about Kansas City is they're starting a rookie. Uh, this the, this kid, uh, Kinsley Samayatea, out of rookie out of Brigham Young. He's talented, but he's a rookie, so he's protecting uh, he's protecting Patrick Mahomes' blind side. But Kansas City won the Super Bowl last year. They're champions of the NFL. Offensively, they average only 21.6 points. That's the lowest since Andy Reid took over. Mm. So it was clear that Kansas City won on defense. And Steve Spagnola, great defensive coordinator, did it by playing a lot of dime package. Now, right quick, Pam, I know this is coach speak, but – uh, that means you're playing Earl with four down linemen, K Mac, and one linebacker, and six in the back with defensive back. Okay? Mm -hmm. Can use with 11. They played dime package more than any team in the NFL last year. Oh, almost 600 snaps they did. Now, mm -hmm. Thursday night, they got Baltimore. Mm -hmm. and, re and revenge is a meal best served cold. Ooh, yeah. oh, sweet. That's good. <laughs> be, because John Harbaugh is coming to Kansas City tomorrow night with Derrick Henry in the backfield. So you ain't going to be able to line up in dime package with Derrick Henry in the backfield with just one linebacker. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I get it. You got two stallions in George Karloftis and Chris Jones down lineman. Those two guys combined for 21 and a half sacks so they can create pressure. But it's a different dynamic this time and I got Baltimore to win that game. So, uh, but in the AFC, Earl, when you talk about the AFC, who can beat Kansas City? I think there are a couple of teams that, that are capable of doing that. Okay, Houston must get off to a great start. Because you want to come to NRG. See, here's the thing about Kansas City. Not only are they talented, K Mac, Pam, Earl, mm -hmm. not only is Kansas City talented, they're a cold weather football team. And you don't want to have to go to Kansas City in January. 
in the playoffs. Yeah, that's Miami. Okay? <laughs> and, <laughs> exactly. And, and bingo. That's why you can forget about Miami. It, it's a track meet. I get it. It's a track meet. Uh, 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 the Waddle kid, Tyreek Hill, they can fly. But let me tell you something, partner. In January, you don't want to go to Kansas City. <laughs> nah, nah. So you can, I don't care what Miami does, you can forget about them at cold weather time. Yeah. I think Houston, if Houston can, can start off early, because the back end of their schedule is horrendous. If they start off early and have some success mm. and it can make you come to NRG, they'll have a chance because. Here's the other thing you've got to do to beat Kansas City. You must rush the passer. They got Will Anderson and Daniil Hunter coming off the edge. That's two double-digit sack guys. They got C.J. Stroud and a very good battery to throw to. Nico Collins, Tank mm-hmm. Dell, Stephon Diggs. So <laughs> this, this is it. This, let me tell you something. D'Amico Ryan's got a squad. Okay. If Houston yeah. can start off early. The other team in the AFC that you got to watch is this new offensive line and Joe Burrow at Cincinnati because Joe Burrow has the confidence of knowing that I can beat Patrick Mahomes. I beat him before. Mm-hmm. So he has the confidence. Uh, we talked about Baltimore. The other thing, and people are going to laugh at me, but I'm telling you right now, it show is fat meets greasy. If the New York Jets <laughs> stay healthy, look out for them. Hey, so, hey, hey Coach, healthy, I'm with you on that one. Aaron Rodgers. Fat hey, greasy. Alex got to be happy, producer. That, that's his squad right there, Coach. Listen, let me yeah. tell you something. Hey, here's the facts about the New York Jets. They got a quarterback that's a two-time MVP that will get a gold jacket that he ain't going to have to buy. They got a left <laughs> tackle in Tyron Smith that's mm-hmm. going to get a gold jacket that he ain't going to have to buy. They got a all-pro running back in Brees Hall. They got two stellar wide receivers in Garrett Wilson and Mike Williams. Oh, by the way, Mike Williams might be the last – skilled player on offense that's been worth a damn to come from Clemson. Uh, but I digress. <laughs> wow. Hey, Coach. Uh, hey, Coach. Okay. That, <laughs> enough on that. Let's, let's get into the NFC because we're up against you, man. Let's good, jump in the NFC right job. here. Okay. Okay. In, in the NFC, yeah. in the NFC, that's a scramble because you've got, in my mind, you've got uh, San Francisco, and that's an all-star roster. Of course, Brock Purdy can play. Christian McCaffrey can play. Debo Samuel, uh, they got Brandon Ayuka. They got Trent Williams, arguably the best left tackle yeah. in the NFL. He's just signed his contract. He's back. And they, their experience, they've been there. Detroit can make a strong argument that they deserve to be there because Detroit in the NFC was just like Baltimore last year in the AFC championship game. Detroit got there. And they got like the signifying monkey, got happy, went to jump it up and down, feet <laughs> missing limb, ass hit the ground. <laughs> so they they forgot who they were. That's okay. Like- I ain't heard that in a minute. They, they, they forgot who they were, lost their identity, and blew a, a, what, a 21 point uh, first half lead in, in the NFC Championship game. So they got a shot. I think that Green Bay, watch them. They got a quarterback that can play. Jordan Love can play. Uh, Christian Washington. Alabama running back relocated from the Raiders to Green Bay. Josh Jacobs can play. Mm. You here's the, here's the thing about the NFC. It's going to do it. Watch very closely. There are two rookie quarterbacks that I think, uh, and they have help that you better watch. And they could shake up that NFC. Hey. I'm talking about J- Jaden Daniels at Washington. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because he has help. Jaden Daniels a lot, has help. A, a lot of people picking the, the commanders to do some damage this year. Coach, and okay, Mac, I'll be happy about that. Don't tell him, Coach. I've been trying to tell him, Coach. I'm telling you, and, and, and I'll tell you something about, 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 about the commanders. But, but watch right. this about the commanders. You, If the commanders are good, see, Philly, and I don't, oh, don't, don't let me forget about Philly. Here's the thing about Philly. They may have the best roster in the NFC, uh, of course, with, Jalen Hurts, now they bring over Saquon Barkley. Uh, they got uh, uh, a super defense, Devontae Smith, uh, uh, the, the wide receiver, the other big wide receiver, Johnson, uh, yeah. uh, A.J. Brown. Brown A.J. Yeah, Brown. Yeah. Okay, so Philly, and the thing about Philly, Nick Sirianni, his fanny may be the hottest ass on the hot seat <laughs> in, in the NFL. So, <laughs> so Philly true. better be that good. So Philly better be good. Earl, right quick, and I just want to – No, I, I we, we most, got that 30 seconds. Oh, oh. Got 30 seconds. Okay, go. then let me say this. As we go into this season, 
where will Bill Belichick coach next? You better watch that because you can rest assured he's red shirting in 2024. Where will he coach next? My guess, New York Giants. Bill Belichick going to be on somebody's sideline. He's 16 wins away from breaking Don Shula. The NFL is all about marketing. No way on God's green earth will Bill Belichick be sitting out the 2025 season. Bill Belichick going to be on somebody's okay. sideline. Okay. Wow. In 2025. Right. Well, go my back guess to, tell him to go back to Cleveland. <laughs> my, no, no, my, hey, hey, K-Mac, the last time the Giants were real good, Bill Parcells, who was his D coordinator? All right, have coach. a great birthday. Hey, have a great birthday. Coach. Happy birthday. 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 Happy